Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel Simone Speaks. Thanks for tuning in to this general love reading for April 2020. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising as well as Venus. If you'd like to get in contact with me for your own personal and private love reading, my email will be in the description box below. I am wishing every single one of you a healthy and prosperous April, okay? Amidst what's going on in the world right now, I hope you all are safe and doing really well. Let's see your cards for this month, Capricorn. Alrighty. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Swords. Okay, so the three cards that stick out to me right off the bat is the Three of Swords, Four of Swords, and the Seven of Swords, Capricorn. It has just caught my eye. And the first word that I heard in my mind was deception. Okay, so what I'm getting, the storyline that I'm feeling out of the gate is with the four pentacles is that this person could have offered you some kind of happy home situation with the ten of cups card over here now keep in mind i shuffle all my cards i clean them i just have them all face down so i'm so so happy that these cards came out the way they did capricorn i had no idea what cards i picked for you all and these cards are really telling the story automatically for me so yes capricorn what i'm seeing here is that this person could have offered you or tried to offer you some kind of happy home situation but that's just not the case okay with the three of swords and the four of swords three and the four so three and the four so it's like you know constantly escalating so you could have had a lot of arguments with this person you could have had a lot of difficult conversations wow I really feel this energy from you guys. You could have had a lot of tough conversations, Capricorn, that you never thought you would have to keep having with this um, specific person, okay? So this person could have, you know, been holding back four pentacles, um, either commitment I'm seeing here or just money, resources, time. Um, this person could have been could have been busy a lot. Maybe this person told you that they were always working, they were always, you know, preoccupied, but that, you know, some somewhere in your heart and your soul, Capricorn, you're like, that's just not true. I don't believe that. So I've been wanting to pull three cards. So let's go ahead and pull three cards from the Romance Angel deck to see what's going on here. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more attractive, Capricorn. Loving yourself first, yes, indeed calling in your soulmate and worth waiting for okay so i do feel that for a lot of you uh oh and we have stay optimistic that card was hiding okay so the card stay optimistic was hiding behind the worth waiting for card okay so i definitely see all signs here i'm actually gonna pull a couple cards and see exactly what zodiac signs i get for you all so let's see what zodiac signs come out for the spread please for capricorn for confirmation we have the Leo card. This could be a Leo strength card, major arcana. Okay, so if you're dealing with a Leo, there could have been a Leo in the mix here. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords. Okay, so this could have been, I feel, um, either any of the fire, earth, or water. Okay, I don't see any air so far. All right, that just to confirm the zodiac signs there for y'all. So this has really left you feeling like you need to start over Capricorn you know this energy to me feels like you're wanting to clear house you know you're really wanting to get the truth once and for all before you make your final decision on giving this person a chance or not you know I do feel for a lot of you that you do love this person I do feel love here even though I don't really have any love cards, I just feel intuitively, Capricorn, that you do love this person. I mean, if I have a Two of Cups or the Magician or the Lovers, I could definitely say that you are invested. The most romantic card I have here in the Tarot for your spread is the Queen of Cups. This is the only emotion-based card that I have that's showing your energy, okay, towards this person. So right now, you're, you could be feeling pretty shut off, okay? Right now, you could be pulling back your energy, pulling back your love from this person. I also feel Pisces, okay? So I'm hearing loud and clear Pisces. If you are with a water sign or you were with a water sign, this was a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, okay? Or Pluto. I'm hearing Pluto as well. 
on Aries Midheaven, Aries Venus, Scorpio Venus. So this is somebody that you wanted to have a future with or you could have married this person already. But you had high hopes, Capricorn. You, know, you, you did definitely have high hopes, but something fell through, okay? Something fell through and I feel like you have clarity now or you will be getting clarity very soon. Ace of Swords about this person's whereabouts. So there could be some internet watching. There could be, you know, you wanting to um, consult somebody or get information uh, about this person. I just feel like you're kind of caught in the middle, you know. You do have feelings for this person, but they did hurt you in some way, you know, or the situation, I feel, mainly. Uh, it, it affected you. It made you feel some kind of way. And so, you know, you're trying to look for that hope. I feel, Capricorn, that you want that hope. You want to access the Ten of Cups with this person. But from what I see in the cards... Um, this person's showing as a king of wands, okay? This person is showing up as somebody who I feel could be quite selfish because we have the king of wands and the four of pentacles. So this is the energy of somebody who is, I feel, like selfish. Um, the king of wands is also the player card, you know, the socialite, you know, the, the, the guy who wants to be, you know, the most popular person in the room. So this is somebody who's very showinistic, you know, could be materialistic as well. So if this reminds you of that person, then, you know, this is definitely a reading for you. Um, this person doesn't have to be materialistic or this person doesn't have to be, you know, uber popular to, to resonate. But I do feel that this person does have um, this kind of energy of, you know, I get the last say. So if you ever had a conversation or an argument with this person, Capricorn, it feels like, you know, you're kind of just talking to a wall. And that's one of the problems I see here is that a lot of the times you felt like you were talking to a wall. You felt like you were needing to over explain yourself while this person was in this energy of the seven of swords. OK, so this person all along was in a very um, deceptive trickery, uh, you know, not very, I want to say, authentic energy with you maybe perhaps capricorn what i'm getting from this person's side is that they they whether it's a girl or a guy because it's because it's also be the queen of wands all right oh funny enough we have the king and the queen all right so a lot of signs this month have been having these 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 dual energy showing the, the the man woman you know the the the, the king and the queen suit okay so yeah so absolutely like the king is over here. The queen is over here. So, like I said, this could be either gender. That does not just be just a guy, all right, with a with a player energy. This also could have been a female, um, as well, all right. So, absolutely, you know, this person I feel from their perspective could have thought that that's what you wanted. You know, maybe you wanted somebody who was into you know the finer things. Maybe you wanted somebody who was popular, but that may not be the case. But I feel with you, Capricorn, you let this person show you who they are. You know, I feel for a lot of you. You let this person um, show you, you know, their trickery. You know, you, you kind of step back. Maybe you are doing your own thing as well for a couple of you, not for all of you. Maybe you are also, you know, doing your own thing on the side. But for the most part, you know, you had your cup of love offered um, towards this person. But I do feel now that you have turned that page. You don't well, you no longer want to keep doing the same thing that you've been doing, you know, because the way you've been doing it with this person, the way this person's been talking to you is causing a lot of heartache, you know. So this, 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 you know, Capricorn, I just want to say this. There has been themes of heartbreak all month long. I can't even lie. Um, there's just been there's just been this theme of just recent of just heartbreak for a lot of signs like yourself. So don't feel like you're the only sign, okay? Just just felt like saying that all um just felt like saying that, okay? So let's go ahead and pull two more romance angel here. So what is this person's feelings towards you, Capricorn? Let's get two cards here to show that. What is this person's feelings towards Capricorn, please? Okay, one more, please. One more, please, for this for the Capricorn. Sun and rising Venus. How does this person feel about Capricorn, please? You can have it fall out if you want. Okay. How does this person feel about Capricorn? Okay. Separation. Unrequited love. Okay. So this person feels like this separation could be permanent. This separation, um, they deserved it. That's what I'm hearing. Like this person does believe that they did deserve it. Like they understand why this is happening. They do. They do see it clearly now. Um, I'm hearing the song like the rain is gone. What's the song called? Like the rain is gone. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. So this is what I'm hearing. Like this person now does see that there was a lot of um, 
wrongdoing, but this person may have not apologized, but I do want to tell you secretly, Capricorn, they do know that they did do um, you dirty, okay? They do feel like they, they really were not honest with how they feel. So I keep getting the similar theme here. Maybe this person thought that they want, that you wanted a bad boy or a bad girl. Maybe this person thought that, that you wanted, um, you know, a kind of mysterious person, but but not in this way, right? I feel with you, Capricorn, you're like, yeah, I may have wanted somebody who's more, you know, edgy and cool, but not like a, a user, not a player. So there's a lot of miscommunication there for sure. Like this person could have thought that maybe you were also in the Queen of Wands energy. Maybe you were also a player. And this person thought that, okay, well, if we're in and out or, you know, I do this, this person's doing that. So maybe there was a lot of miscommunication, you know, maybe one person was expecting that you guys were together, a couple, and somebody else was like, no, we're not actually together. This person could have taken, I feel, your love for granted, Capricorn. So this is a very clear story here, a very clear message that this person, I feel, uh, misinterpreted a lot of what you said. So if you have, if you ever get to have a conversation with this person, like if this reading's hitting the nail on the head for you, I can definitely tell you that if you have a conversation with this king of wands right here, this fire suit person, this fire suit, fire suit male or woman, um, they'll definitely tell you like they thought this, they thought they may not, they, they may not be as confident as you think, you know, they could have been putting on a front. So, so the good news I could say is that I don't see any cards of deception. I do see cards of trickery with a seven of swords or a possible divorce separation. Yeah, that's here, but I didn't have that reconfirm. So like what I'm saying is that other spreads, other signs, you know, had, uh, I think, you know, worse cards like deception uh you know like to tower you don't have any outstanding bad cards you do have cards indicating trickery and this person you know having selfish ways and you know you guys not being together and heartbreak but you don't have like cards showing that this person is uh a narcissist or this person is evil okay or just doesn't care this person i feel just doesn't understand where you're coming from that's what i'm getting capricorn so just take that how you will it's a general love rating but this person doesn't strike me as evil that's what i'm trying to say this person does not strike me as evil you know i've done some readings you'll you won't believe capricorn i've done some readings where people strike me as evil okay and just like horrible this person is not like that this person could be a player but they're not horrible okay so this person can change that's what i do feel like i want to say here you know there is hope the star card there is the temperance balance sagittarius so this is all about the fire here so with the fire so this is definitely your, your reading okay so this person ace of swords I feel is going to get more clarity about how they broke your heart, okay, or how they made you upset or how they pushed you away. They're going to get clarity about it, Capricorn, okay? So there is hope. So we have the card of calling in your soulmate. So this person I feel here could be taking a step back to um, decide if they want to be with you or not, or this could be your energy, okay? This could also be both of you where you both are saying, you know what, I'm going to take a step back to move forward, okay? So overall, Capricorn, I do see potential for this person to change if you still want this person, um, but let's just go ahead and pull some cards and see um, what, what the new per person could be coming in. If you want somebody brand new, let's see what signs I get, okay? Five of Wands reversed, Seven of Wands could be another fire sign actually i'm seeing here it could be another fire sign especially aries yeah seven of swords again aquarius okay this could be an aquarius or a water sign seven of cups two of cups three of swords king of cups yes okay this could be another water a water sign so if you want somebody brand new this could be a water sign or an aquarius or all the fire signs aries leo sagittarius okay so the new person is water fire or um, the Aquarius, Aquarius. Only air sign I got was Aquarius, okay, for now. So what action should you take, Capricorn? Let's see your um, spirit advice here. What action should you take? That card right there. Be bold and make the first move. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so the ball's in your court, Capricorn. Absolutely. Cardinal moon, okay? So the ball is in your court. It's up to you. Okay, you're either going to, you know, tell this person where the hell they can go or you have the power to say, listen, get right or get lost. All right. This is your reading Capricorn. I love you all so much. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.